Grace carries denial within him that gives him an oppressed, confusing perspective of women. He has a fascination for the needs and desires of prostitution. He was drawn to the desires of the, the women as much as they were drawn to him. Glenona, your daughter is a prostitute. No. Uh-uh. That isn't true. I don't believe it. My girl is a good girl. show you. It took him about three and a half hours before it made any sense, but once he hit his stride. Before you, Mr. Grayson, are the skeletal remains of two bodies. On the left, a female, 17 to 19 years of age. On the right, a girl of about 20. Well, how did I do? In the State versus Raymond G. Grace, I would like to introduce the following into evidence. Exhibit A, the basement floor from the Eternal Light of God mission, upon which we found Exhibit B, a piece of human skin. Exhibit C, an ax found on Grace's Putnam County retreat with matching skin tissue extracted from its blade. Exhibit D, a tub also confiscated from his retreat with a gash in the front left side of the tub that particle matches Exhibit C, the axe. Exhibit E, a gold cross made by Wanda Bolin, found lodged in a tub fixture that was drained from the lake on Bishop Grace's property, where also was found Exhibit F. 750 bone fragments the state intends to prove beyond a reasonable doubt belong to Lena and Wanda Bolin. Dr. Sutton, will you share with us your professional opinion as to the physiognomy of the skeletal remains presented here as evidence? Remains found in the pond at the retreat owned by the defendant? Two females in their late teens or early twenties. One five foot four inches tall, the other five foot six inches tall. Your Honor, medical records previously introduced to the state show that Wanda Bolin was five six, Lena Bolin was five four, Wanda was 18 years old and Lena was 20. Was there anything about the remains that uh, might have manifested itself in a physical uniqueness of either of the victims? Objection. State hasn't established they were victims. Mr. Panetti, I think we can reasonably assume those bones did not get into the pond as a result of a suicide. Witness may answer. There is an abnormal degree of curvature in the vertebrae of the smaller of the two skeletons. This would have manifested itself in a um, case of scoliosis. Causing her to walk with a slight 10 degree cant in her posture. Your Honor, medical records also show Lena Bolin as having diagnosed scoliosis. Dr. Sutton, what kind of tool might have made the marks you observed? An axe, particularly evident on the long bones. There are markings that indicate several blows had been struck. Thank you, Dr. Sutton. Dr. Sutton, whose bones are these? Well, they're female, most likely in their early 20s. I didn't ask for a description. I asked for an identification. And do these bones belong to Wanda or Lena Bolin? Well, it's my understanding that they're consistent with the physical... I'll ask the question again, Doctor. Can you say categorically, and without any doubt whatsoever, that they belong to Wanda or Lena Bolin? No, 
I can't. No more questions. between you and me. You're under arrest. You all right? 